Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Okay, so I think we need to address a few things. Okay. So first off, uh, I do want to apologize about the the audio settings for the last several episodes. The uh, OBS got a little janky a bit, and the game audio did come in a bit louder than usual. Second, some spoilers, but I'll get into that later. Okay. Because Twitter, Splatoon Twitter is kind of a shit. Yeah. The next thing, so we have not messed with the alternate logs. Okay. Like at all. And I asked the uh, I asked the Discord like, hey, should we wait until we get to the very end of the game and just read it all at once, or should we read them as we go? And it was recommended that we read them as we go okay. because it, it would help to build suspense. Which I thought about it, and yeah, I, I think um, you know when I think of good storytelling, I think of some of the better vaults in Fallout, yeah. and how the best stories were the ones that like they would slowly drip feed you part of the story, mm -hmm. and it left you wondering like, oh wait. This new thing. What's going to happen next? Oh, what's going to happen after this? And it's... I, I feel like, you know what? That's a good idea. Let's do the alternate logs. We'll, we'll just dump the however many we've got now. And then we'll just kind of... Uh, yeah. As we go. I mean, I know how you feel. As a throwback to a game I used to not shut up about. The first Surge game. That's how it told the story. And that's why I loved it. It was that... You get that big front load and then just drip feeding what really is going on. It's so good. Okay. Oh, we're off to a good start already. The fall of humanity. <laughs> All right, you got my vote. Let's do this. As technology advanced at an exponential pace, so too did prosperity and ultimately conflict. Before long, the entire world was embroiled. In the end, nearly all life on Earth was wiped out. As humans squabbled, natural disasters intensified. Volcanic eruptions leveled cities. The sea rose and began to consume the planet. Humanity experienced a mass extinction event. Soon, the surface of the Earth became a barren wasteland, completely inhospitable to life. Error against the odds computed to be 42,791 to 1. Some humans survived. Was there... Okay, th I can scroll down a bit. Alright, I wasn't sure. It looked like there was more to this. Yeah. Right. Therefore, the planet was only nearly completely inhospitable to life. These survivors found shelter in a vast cavern created by a cataclysmic volcanic eruption. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to take a shot in the dark and guess that this crater might be Octo Canyon? That's what I'm thinking, too. Maybe? Not 100% sure. Yeah. Still kind of early in this. The ca excuse me, cavern. The cavern provided shelter and a massive pool of accumulated seawater provided life. For a while... Oh, okay. I, I thought it was supposed to say for a while and misread that. For while humanity was being decimated, marine life flourished. All manner of squid, octopuses, and jellyfish had propagated in the deep. The surviving humans had found a source of sustenance. Okay. Mmm, squid. <laughs> the rise of civilization again. The surviving humans appointed scientists to lead their new society, believing that science would provide a wiser path forward. Fully empowered, these scientists took on the monumental task of establishing a sustainable ecosystem within the cavern. They dubbed this new city, Al or society, Alterna. Alterna? What is that word? That's where we are right now. This, oh. is the, this is this new world. This is Alterna. Gotcha. And began the process of recreating the Earth they had once known. Of course, not even scientists are immune to nostalgia. The humans began constructing large-scale 3D printing operations. <laughs> yes. Like you were calling in the uh, the Moai how it had that 3D print uh -huh. texture. And sure enough, <coughs> very first photo, <laughs> first one is the Moai. Yeah. Okay. This allowed them to cr recreate some of humanity's favorite artifacts within the confines of Alterna. Which means maybe that uh, the Eiffel Tower is actually one of the constructs, not the original Eiffel Tower. Like the one that they were showing in the, uh, the direct, the overturned one? Uh-huh. I'm thinking that, well... It could be. Maybe. Yeah. That's just me throwing it, it was, out there. I mean, they showed it in the desert, so maybe that is the original distort, destroyed one. True. Maybe? I don't know. Additionally, they created a robust information management system designed to inde indelibly... Indelibly? Yeah, indelibly. Okay. Record all of humanity's precious knowledge. Such a system would naturally require some sort of record keeper. A computer that could autonomously observe and record data. The scientists achieved their aim with the development of ORCA, also known as the Omniscient Recording Computer of Alterna. That was the, um, the AI computer that introduced us to this place. Ah. Okay. As life in, excuse me, a new sky. As life in Alterna moved forward, 
One scientist discovered a new way to make liquid crystals from the bodily fluids of squids. These new crystals could change color in response to faint and fleeting electrical signals emitted by living organisms. To put that in more human terms, these crystals could read minds, then output imagery that matched the viewer's innermost thoughts. Humans were enchanted with this new invention and began mass-producing the crystals. Eventually, they lined the walls and roof of Alterna. As the crystals absorbed the collective desires of those in Alterna, they assumed the appearance of the sky as it was last seen on the surface long ago. So we're not actually seeing the sky. Interesting. This we're is more like a screen that's displayed on the inside of the... Made of squid goop. Dome, I guess? Yeah. For lack of a better term. I mean, that's really cool technology. I like it. It is. This is peeking off my sci-fi nerd so well. Yeah. At last, after 25 years of being confined beneath the Earth, humanity could once again look up and see the sky. Kinda. Yeah. Uh, okay, now... This was something I was noticing, was the first three said analysis complete up top, so yeah. this, I'm guessing, I have to finish? Yeah, because sure enough, it's, it's glitchy, yeah. It's very corrupted. Okay. The years passed with prosperity. The population of Alterna grew like a rising tide. The scientists, now the elders of their kind, believed they had done all they could to advance the civilization of Alterna. They began selecting new leaders to succeed them, entrusting to them the world they helped build. Humanity's new leaders inherited both the brilliance of their predecessors and their unquenchable thirst for innovation. And then we lose it. I'm gonna say, if only. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, moving on. So, uh, yeah, the the little, the dark undertones of uh, Splatoon's story are kind of poking out a little now. Yeah. All right. Kind of gives me that, but it also gives me that hopeful vibe, you know, like the Kennedy speech about we don't go to the moon because it is easy, we go because it is hard. You know, do the things, innovate, grow. Right. Okay. Now I'm sad. The perfect <laughs> penmanship. Splat switches to reach the goal within the time limit. Whew. Okay. So this uses more ink and it's slower, but it has more range, then this is faster. Hmm. But less range. I'm. Uh, let's do this. Okay. I'm taking a look. The timer doesn't start until you go through it. No, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Once I this go. It's a pretty straight shot, but then it's way down there. Right. Because you can see the goal from up here, like it's straight across. Can I? Uh, look up. Oh yeah, there it is. It's way over there. Okay. I was, like I had my camera pointed down. Yeah. I wasn't sure what you were talking about. Okay. <laughs> Okay, here also, we go. Also, the lanterns, they're cool. Yeah, that's neat. Ready, steady, go! Uh, What's with the squares? Oh, switches. You gotta hit them all? Yeah. My stupid ass didn't even notice the ones there. <laughs> Move! Yeah, don't care. Wee. I got 30 seconds. Oh, it's a maze. Rude. Okay, alright, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I do like that they have the uh, the ink tanks there so I don't have to refill. Yeah. Is there another one I missed? Okay, I wasn't sure if that one was going to make me go through the middle or not. Ooh, okay, alright, alright, alright. Eee, ooh, ooh. Zigzag, zigzag, serpentine! I have six seconds. Oh. I didn't realize it stopped the uh, the timer oh, <laughs> once yeah. I got to that last part. I'm like, <laughs> That's cool. I'm like, shit, 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 gotta throw a grenade, get there. Oh, wait, time stopped. <coughs> now I'm wondering but if you the... wrote something in cursive with that. <laughs> if it would... Oh, like if it would... Oh! I don't know. It's called perfect penmanship, and then it was guiding you around. Right. I'm wondering. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it again. I, w I wasn't sure if I should try it, but... So, let's put a pin in that. That's one of your sayings. Stay in the the thing, yeah. thing you like to say. All right, hold on. Before we go any further, I want to knock out some of these. Yeah. Because I went to get... Uh, I tried to complete, like, all the maps on my own between episodes, and I'm just missing a few small chunks of the, uh, of the map, including some stuff here, because you do get, uh, like, some stuff for 100% completion. Yeah. Like, I know at the beginning, you just kind of get, um, like, for each individual thing you complete, uh, chunk to the, oh, shoot, it's there. Where's the, there it is. 
you can get a sticker that goes on the inside of your um, locker. Yeah. That looks like that chunk of the map. Ah. Okay. Then the last one should just be up there. But, oh, right, and kind of going into some of the spoilers. I was mentioning how spoilers have been pissing me off a bit more than usual lately. Yeah. Because uh, Twitter seems to have no goddamn filter. It's up there. Okay. The, um... So, some things I have found out on accident, because other people seem to just can't be troubled with the, uh, the two-week rule... Do you want to put, like, a, hey, skip to here moment, so if people don't want to hear the spoilers, they don't have to? Like, I'm not going to go into detail, but yes, I'm going to go ahead and put, like, a timestamp. I'm just going to go into, like, okay. very vague okay. things. Okay, because you know I don't care about spoilers. Yeah. And I imagine most people who are watching this, by the time this comes out, already know the things, but still, there's probably someone that doesn't. But, like, I know that there is a an item for... 100% full map completion of all maps. Uh, I unfortunately know what that item is exactly. Uh, oh, shoot. So I'm trying to, like, talk and do this thing at the same time. And that that item is kind of like a plot revelation? I don't think it's... I don't think it's a plot revelation, but I could mm -hmm. be wrong. I think it's just a neat-to-have sort of thing. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, mana wardrobe. We're temporarily closed so that we may restock. Cash only. No photography or influence allowed. Ever. We've run rather low on paper bills. We're always open. Your fashion emergency is our fashion emergency. Do not touch it until you have paid for it. Also, we, I got scroll 13 between uh, huh. episodes. When you're after expanding his business into a new region, bombarding the splat lines with over 20,000 hours of rapid-fire weapons chatter, his steel scopes are aimed at a new horizon. What's next for the so-called Arsenal Ambassador? Okay, so think what else i do know that uh similar to the inner agent 3 fight there is a there is a like extra thing at the end okay so this should be 100 percent map completion right uh, oh there's one more thing of interest between somewhere here Uh, somewhere in here? Somewhere in here? Guess not. Okay. But Hold the, uh, Oh, here it is. It's <laughs> chilling right there. Car! Neat car. I got a whole ass car! A blue Ferrari? That's weird. And everything surveyed. There we go. Nice. So now if I go to the, uh... If I go to the first map area and I talk to Marie, she will give me a map, a poster, sticker, that can go inside the locker. Neat. Uh, trying to think what else. I know of... Yeah, basically an extra stage. It's kind of like the Inner Agent 3, the extra ball. I'm sorry! Didn't mean it! Sorry! <laughs> it's kind of like the extra yeah. stage of the game. Like the secret boss kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, trying to think what else. Uh, then there's... Shit, how to explain this. What someone said was a spoiler without context... But the way that they presented it does not need context. Yeah, if you know like enough about the lore, then right. it implies Like, you itself. don't even need to know the lore. It's just the way that they presented it. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to think, a, a, way to, a way to explain this without, without actually giving away the thing. Okay, so here's a... I'll, I'll I, use, I have an example I can provide, too, that's out of Splatoon context. I think I already have one. Okay. Oh, shit. Aim for, oh, fuck. Ugh. <coughs> okay. Okay, so... Yeah? Here's a spoiler for a 40-year-old horror movie, okay? So... Crap. Okay. Alright. So, spoiler for a 40-year-old horror movie. The very first, um... Friday the 13th movie. Okay. Uh, spoilers, Jason Voorhees was not the killer. The, uh, for anyone who hasn't seen it yet. Yeah, or so, hasn't watched Scream. I broke an incorrect crate. All right. This is probably not the stage I should be doing if I'm going <laughs> to try to talk while, uh, yeah. while playing. I like those stages, but yeah. Okay, so, in, in the first Friday the 13th, you frequently see people getting killed. But the, um, put a pin in that. Let's do it that one. 
So you see people getting killed, but you never see who the killer is. You just see the aftermath, and you see some <coughs> uh, yeah. killer first-person views as they go to their victim. And it's not until the very end that you see it's actually Jason Voorhees' mom. And up to this point, she's been kind of the, oh, you know, she's just a nice person. She's just, you know, a, a grieving mom that lost her son in a, a horrible tragedy, that Wants sort of thing. Wants all these kids to have the best time at camp. Right, at Camp Crystal Lake, and oh, someone is horribly murdering them. Couldn't be this person. And then at the very end of the movie, you find out, yeah, it's absolutely her. So, let's say I said spoiler without context, and I took a picture of uh, Mama Voorhees, and I put a squid over her head. So this would tell you, okay, one of the squids is going to betray us and then attempt to kill us later. But the thing is, there's so many squids in the story mode that, you know, you really can't pinpoint who it would be. Yeah. Like, would it be Callie? Would it be Marie? Would it be Fry? Pearl? Captain Cuttlefish? You know, there's so many, it doesn't really narrow it down. Yeah. It's kind of dickish that we know that much, but it's still not a, like, a, a pinpointed thing. So let's say I take that same idea, and now I use a, a, a creature we've only seen once of in the game. Like, say, an isopod. Mm -hmm. We've only seen one isopod in all of Splatoon. Do you remember who it was? It was Isopadre from Octo Expansion. The the yeah. giant isopod in the fancy suit and the and the glasses and the yeah. sunglasses from back then. Yeah. So that would instantly tell you, yes, this is the guy, he's gonna betray us because we only know of one specific isopod, so this tells us exactly who who's gonna be who's gonna do the bad thing. But then so it's not him, but the creature that they showed in this spoiler without context. There is only one of. So you don't need context. They present it in a way that, yes, the creature that you put in this situation is absolutely the culprit. Yeah. And that pisses me off, like, severely. Because that's not a spoiler without context. That's a spoiler with vague, with no clarification. Yeah, with an actual hint but, in it. That right. There, there is context there. And a very strong hint at that. Like, you don't need the context. So that that kind of pisses very much yeah. pisses me off actually. Like an, an example of a better like spoiler without context would be spoiling the end of uh, Avengers, uh, not Endgame, the one before that, Infinity War. Have you seen it? I have not. Okay, so I don't really care. Just, are, are we sure we want to spoil this one? Because this is much more recent than. Uh, than, you know, for the very first Friday. Well, what I'm saying is, is like, a spoiler without context that you only understand what it means if you have seen the film, and then it makes sense. And that would be a picture of an ashtray. Okay. <laughs> you know? Okay, yeah, as someone who hasn't seen <coughs> the movies in years, I don't get what it would be. Yeah. That's understandable. Yeah, I don't get... So I but, don't understand it, but, but I'm But when sure. you finally see... Like, and here's the crazy thing. Marvel is fantastic at spoilers without context because the trailer... Four, Infinity War uh -huh. actually had a shot post the most devastating part of that movie uh -huh. including the remnants of that being visible on screen but you don't realize what you're looking at it'd be like somebody uh, you know standing on a red stain and you're like oh it's just someone died only no it's like somebody killed Robin and that's what the blood is oh. kind of thing you know okay but actually showing the blood on say Batman's hands okay. can, can I can I say, can I interrupt you for a second yeah. can you tone it down slightly because my ears are ringing I right apologize now. I'm just getting over a cold so I can't hear my own voice okay <laughs> but um, I think the neighbors can hear your own voice but yeah it'd be like showing a shot of Batman with blood on his hands but you don't know whose blood it is okay you know I mean yeah you're still gonna know there's blood on Batman but you know it's way different and way less obvious than, you know, betrayal by isopod. Right. <coughs> I'm just going to suspect isopod right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't, uh, I mean, the guy who, um, Can who, I reach who runs the weapons shop, the guy who actually sells everything, Sheldon? Right. He's an isopod. Oh, they throw the box at me. Oh, they throw the box at me. All right, well, very portal of you. Yeah, I guess I fucked that one up. I didn't realize they would throw it at me. <laughs> yeah, they just had it like way out of reach, and it's like, okay, how the fuck am I supposed to get it? And I'm, I'm looking around, and it's like, oh, okay, that's how. Cool. Glad you told me this. Here it comes. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. I'm allergic to anticipation. Are you kidding me? With okay, <laughs> Jesus. This is giving me portal vibes. I don't like this. 
I don't like this. I'm so glad I did not pick a, uh, a sniper rifle for this one. This is giving me weird deja vu, and I have no idea why. I don't know why either. <coughs> Excuse me! You? Uh, yes. you, are you good? Yeah, I'm fine. I feel great. <laughs> you sound great. In the... Oh, in the loosest sense of the word. Uh, you should have heard me while I was sick. I, I sounded like Clint Eastwood trying to breathe through a gravel filter. Jeez. While doing a bad Duke Nukem impersonation. Oh my god. Oh crap. Okay. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> you would. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you fucking would. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Five or many. You it's got fine. this. It's fine. It's fine. Uh-huh. We're looking at the order they popped out in. Never mind. That is not the order they popped out in. Wait a minute. Come here. Come on. Nailed it. Okay, as long as I know how they're doing that, uh, instead of, yeah, go ahead, get close to it. Oh, by the way, enjoy, asshole. <laughs> uh, goodness. Okay. Fine. No biggie. <sighs> I want to see. Oh, I found some. I just love watching him run. He's so happy. Uh, we already got okay, it, was. There we go. All right, he was still glowing for a second. Uh, we do get more. Okay, so maybe it's every one stage, every two stages? Let's see. Okay. Uh, uh, here we go. This new generation, born and raised in Deep Alterna, would prove to be every bit the match of those they were to succeed. They soon grew restless at the sight of the liquid crystal sky, believing they deserved to behold the reality that existed outside the cavern. The elders who knew what waited outside the safe haven of Alterna issued stern... of Alterna issued stern warnings to the brash young scientists. Oh. Okay. I sense an Icarus fall happening. Maybe. That, that might be a thing that happens. Just gonna grab some of these. Very much a, uh... We feel like we deserve whatever's on the surface. Come hell or high water. Yeah. That's already potentially maybe there. It's no oh. good. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it, it sounds like the bad already happened and they're inviting more bad. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Uh, I think that's a good stopping point for today. Um, I think I got all the juice in this, uh... Oh, no, there's one over there.